Q&A with Mickey and Shay. Today, we are interviewing professional polo players at the USPA Sparkles Cup Finals Closing Day. This is presented by the Woodford Reserve, who are benefiting the Heels to Heal nonprofit organization that helps critically ill women and children get good education and health. Today, local and international polo players will come to compete for the United States Polo Association sanctioned 105 year old Spreckles Cup trophy. The Spreckles Cup is a historical event founded by John D. Spreckles, who also founded many transportation and real estate companies such as the San Diego Railroad and Hotel de Coronado and the first ever polo club in Coronado. We are interviewing the professional polo player, Alvaro! Thanks. Yeah. Hey, nice Thank to you. seeing you again. Thanks so much. Yeah, and I see you guys up in Temecula. Yeah, well, congratulations on your win today. Oh, that was awesome. Thanks so much. It was a fun game, and, you know, it was exciting yeah. and tough, but luckily we got the trophy. Yeah, you played great today. Thanks so much. That was our plan, you know, to play organized, and we made it. So tell us about your final um, score that you made to, in order to make it from like a down to like one point in between to like two points. Yeah, you know, it's that moment when you see just the only opportunity if you made it or, you know, it's one shot. So uh, that was my point to score that goal and put more pressure to the other team. And that happened, you know, that make us to... Uh, go to the crowd, you know. Do you ever speak to your horses? And if so, what do you say? Always, always. You gotta speak with your horses and pet them, and you gotta love your horses. You gotta love your animals. Otherwise, you know, it's like you have to be with with the animals all the time. Feel what they feel too, you know. What do you say to them? We gotta win. We gotta win. <laughs> do they ever reply back? They always reply back. Yeah. What do you look for when you're um, choosing a polo pony to purchase? Uh, nice body, nice conformation, and the size. You know, my perfect size of polo ponies, they are like 15 two hands. Uh, and between 14.3 and 15.2. That's my favorite size. And if you could choose only three things to have in this world, what would those things be? Polo ponies, a polo field, and a nice barn. <laughs> All right. Great things to um, own. Yeah. Could you tell us why you would choose those? Because it's my dream. You know, it's my, you know, my passion to see my own polo field and my nice horses and nice barn, you know? Nice organization. Definitely. Isn't that anybody's dream, right? Right. Yeah. Can you tell us what you most love about polo? Horses. Yep. And green stuff. You know, I always love the nature, you know, which we have on the field. It's grass and being free, you know, play it out of the, you know, on the field and feel free. You know, that's what I love. And how long have you been playing polo? I've been playing polo for more than 10 years. Professionals, yeah, it's about 10 years. Which horse of yours is your favorite? Gordita. Gordita? Ooh, why? Yeah. Could you tell us about her? Well, she's 14 three hands, super handy. She's a appendix, you know, uh, usually appendix it becomes from uh, Coro horse and Toro breads, and uh, she's really nice, solid, uh, small, and real comfortable to hit the ball with. Oh, she sounds so sweet. If you could play any team in the world, which would you choose and why? La Dolfina, because they really have a great operation, horse operation, and they're really organized. Uh, and they are the more success in the world. In closing, could you tell our budding polo players out there how they can improve their performance, like some advice? Well, you know, it, it's like everything. You have to practice a lot. It's hard, polo it's hard, but it's like other sports. If you don't practice, you're not going to do anything, right? So basically, it's be patient, you know. If you're being patient, everything is going to happen.
Thank you for the advice. That was great. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks so much. Thank, Thank you, you for your interview. interview. You've been watching Q&A with Mickey and Shay. Don't forget to play polo today. Thank you, guys. Thank you.